and welcome back. Today we're going to talk about the probability of independent events. Okay, now notice the plural form of this. So what we're going to be talking about are multiple events that can happen and the probability of them happening if they are independent of one another. Okay, so the first thing we got to talk about is independent. Now, what does it mean? What do we mean by independent? Independent events are events that have no bearing on one another. Okay, so these examples that we have down here, they don't really have any bearing of one another. So let's just kind of jump to the examples. Find the probability of rolling a six on one number cube and a three on another number cube. That's a perfect example of two events that really have nothing to do with one another. Rolling a six on one and then rolling a three on a different cube, well, it's a totally different cube. They don't really have anything to do with one another. Okay, so that's what we mean by independent events. Okay, so if the two events that we're talking about, A and B, are independent of one another, then the probability of them both happening is equal to the probability of the first one happening times the probability of the second one happening. So basically, I just take their individual probabilities and just multiply them together. That's basically it. Okay, so, find, and so just like this example, find the probability of rolling a six on one number cube and a three on another number cube. So I'm looking for the probability of rolling a six and rolling a three. I want to roll both of those, so I'm using this and word. Okay, I know these, uh, these events are independent of one another, so this is simply just the probability of rolling a six times the probability of rolling a three with the other number cube. Okay, remember, we got two number cubes here. Okay, so in this case, the probability of rolling a six, that's going to happen one out of every six times. Okay, uh, on a number cube, I have the numbers one through six. So if I want the probability of rolling a six, one, one result is what I want. The six is what I want. Out of a total of six, that could happen. Okay, same thing over here. For the three, that happens one out of every six times. For a total of, when I multiply these together, one out of 36, that is my probability of rolling a six and a three at the same time uh, with two separate rolls. Okay, so again, this and word, if I want both of these both of these to occur, this and word tells me that yes, I want both of them to occur. If that's the case, the probability is I simply just multiply the individual probabilities together, okay? If they are independent events, that is. Okay? So next example, find the probability of tossing heads, tails, and then heads when tossing a coin. So it looks like we're tossing this coin three times. Okay? So what that what that means is when you toss heads, tails, whatever, they don't really have anything to do with one another, right? If you if you if you toss a heads the first time, then that's going to have no bearing on what you toss the second time around. Okay, your tails or, or or whatever the case is. Okay, so again, these are independent of another. Heads, tails, heads. They don't have anything to do with one another. Okay, so I know that this is going to be an independent event. Okay, so this is the probability of tossing a heads, then a tails, and then a heads on a coin. Now notice my notation, just keeping it nice and simple. Okay. So that is the probability of tossing heads times the probability of tossing tails times the pro probability, excuse me, of tossing heads. Okay, so now, we, and we can have multiple events. We can have more than one event. That's okay. As long as they're independent of one another, that's all that really matters. So the probability of tossing heads on a coin is one out of every two. Possibility, or the probability of tossing uh, tails is one out of two. And the probability of tossing heads, again, is one out of two. Again, we're, we're treating these, all of these as independent events. There's nothing to do with one another, so I just treat them as independent, independent, independent. Okay? So one half, one half, and one half. Okay? So multiply that all together, you get one out of eight. Okay? So the probability of tossing heads, tails, heads, is simply one out of eight. Okay. All right, that is the probability of independent events. Just a quick couple of simple examples of independent events. Uh, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video, and we'll see you next time.